a couple weeks ago I slept in my car by minus 10 degrees. Now I want to do the same but in an electric car, so I can leave the heater on overnight. But first I need to find one. I need to get a Tesla. Wow, this is actually a brand new Model 3. Ah, the smell of a new car. This is my bed. Yeah. All right, let the adventure begin. I need to get used to those door handles. Like this. Well, this is gonna be my camper van for the night. Let's see if I actually will fit in here. The reason why I believe I will have a much more comfortable night in a Tesla is because it's an electric car and that means I can leave on the heating the entire night without having a gas engine running the whole time. As you saw in the video, last time I slept in my car there was snow around it and because that was back in January and now it's already April that's harder to find because obviously I also want to have it minus degrees at night so I can actually see how much more comfortable a night in a electric car will be. But because there's still snow on top of the mountains, the roads that go there, they are still closed because it's still kind of winter. So the challenge will be to find a open road that goes up on a mountain. snowed a little bit last night. I'm really not sure if I can get up this road that I have in mind. Alright, well it's already a lot colder here and as you can see there's a little bit of snow on top of the mountains and now I'm somehow trying to drive up there and find a place to park the car and sleep inside. All right, so this is the road that I had in mind, but unfortunately it is closed. Uh, yeah, but it makes sense because look at this, there's still a lot of snow everywhere. And obviously I don't want to risk anything because I mean, it's not my car and I don't want to break anything. But the place where I am right now, it's actually quite beautiful already. So I think I'm gonna stay here because I mean, it's a nice view. And also, by the way, if you look at this, with minus two degrees and it's, it's 5 p.m. So I guess it's gonna be even a little bit colder at night. So that's a good place. Let's stay the night here. Well, now I'm gonna sort out the sleeping situation. I actually got a, a new bed for this car. So I'm gonna show you how I prepare everything for the night. This is a bed. <laughs> this is a bed by a brand called Dreamcase and it's actually custom made for the Tesla Model 3. Well, yeah, I'm gonna unpack it and show you how it looks like. So these are the pillows, blanket. This is the mat. We got this flip thing. Um, I'm gonna show you later what this is for, but it's very smart. These are like little legs. That, that go here. So now it's actually solid here. Check that out. That's literally a five-star hotel right here. Look at how fancy this is. The entire roof of the Model 3 is made out of glass. And I believe that tonight will be a really clear night. So I should be able to see the stars through this roof. Oh my God, I already saw looking forward to this. All right, well, I'm looking forward to sleeping here, but first I want to go and hike up there because the road that is closed actually goes up there. And I just want to show you how it would look like if we could get up there. Ooh, I'm kind of sprinting up this mountain because I'm scared to miss the sunset. <laughs> 
There's still so much snow. Wow! Yeah, there's absolutely no way I could have gotten up here by car. I mean, look at how much snow there still is. Oh. I literally gonna get to the top right before sunset. Amazing! Yeah, I made it. Wow! so intense it's so windy and so cold up here uh, but I think I should make my way down before before it gets really dark so let's go wow. I'm so looking forward to get back to the car to get into the warm again but look at this it's so beautiful Wow Wow, it's crazy. Wow. <laughs> just can't describe that. That's just... I mean, I'm freezing cold, but this just takes my breath. Like, it's just unbelievable. <sighs> it is so quiet. Whew, all right, back at the car. So I actually gonna get myself ready and then I go and try and see if I fit back there. And uh, for the night, there is actually a camping mode that Tesla has, which is quite cool because you can set the temperature and then it will keep that temperature the entire night. Uh, I'm already excited for this, despite the fact that last time I was quite cold, but that was in my own car, so this is gonna be different. Right, it's currently minus three degrees Celsius. Well, it's not as cold as last time, but still, like it's below freezing. And inside we got 23 degrees. We currently have 209 kilometers left of battery. So let's see how that looks like tomorrow morning. I was just thinking about, because last time I slept in a Tesla, it was a Model X. And obviously, because it's SUV, there's a lot more space than here. But for just one person, this is fine. This works perfectly. I like this. I like sleeping in cars. <laughs> it just feels so cozy, especially if the heater is on and I'm actually warm. I definitely gonna look at the stars before falling asleep. Ah, <sighs> what a day. Well, I'll see you tomorrow. Good night. Uh, wow. I slept really well. Like compared to last time when it was minus 10 degrees inside my car. Whew. I think I only woke up once because I had to change my sleeping bag because first I was sleeping with this blanket and it's so thin as you can see. So I changed my sleeping bag so I'm warm enough. And uh, other than that, 
I mean, the camp mode is still on, so it, it had constantly 22 degrees inside the car. And yeah, I mean, waking up to views like this is just amazing. So yeah, it's definitely more luxury to camp in a electric car because of the heating system. So we have 145 kilometers left. That actually means that I used over 50 kilometers overnight, which is quite a lot. But I mean, if you stay the night somewhere close to a charging station, that's not a problem at all. I actually believe that a electric car is the best camper van that you can get because it's literally just a huge power bank I charge my phone and my batteries from the camera overnight. I left the heater on overnight. So for that reason, I think electric cars are such good camper adventure vehicles. Ready to go outside. Ooh, that's cold. Wow, I'm so glad I didn't have to sleep in a tent outside <sighs> because that would have been really cold. <laughs> Being able to leave the heater on overnight is definitely a big advantage that electric cars have. You're guaranteed to have a cozy night, doesn't matter how cold it gets on the outside. And that is surely another reason why I want to get my own Tesla very soon.